$561 on this unit. This is part two of the unit. The first part, we found a super expensive telescope tripod. We're hoping to try the, this telescope is on this side. There's so much more to go through in this unit though. Uh, also, this has been one of the dirtiest units that we've ever seen, right? Yeah. For sure, and a lot of trash. We've called in back up here. Dad is coming with the big truck to help us do this because it was way more than we thought, but we're gonna start going through this side. This side is mostly just a, you know, sofa. Worst thing is there's another sofa back there. We're gonna start with this bag right here. Also, if you look right there, huge TV, like gigantic TV. Really hoping that thing works because that thing is like 70 inch, 75 inch TV. Pretty sweet. Uh, this bag has some peanut butter in it. <laughs> yeah, like a whole thing of peanut butter. And, uh, and a CO2 cartridge and a pair of scissors and a door locking mechanism. Now I know, like beard oil, storage unit beard oil I would use. I don't think I would eat peanut butter from a storage unit. Mm -hmm. With a lot of pots and pans in here, none of them are good. This is the wall mount to the TV, so keep that. You might have a, in your room, you could have a 70 inch. Not and when we, when we talk about my room, we're talking about the eBay shipping room. Wow, this thing's heavy. It's on glass. I, I don't understand too. how it's not That's breaking crazy. the glass. What happened? It broke. The glass broke? Yes. All right, we have regrouped. And we have a container. Hey. Glockies. This looks like aftermarket Glock stuff though. Bulldog? That's the name of that. No, it is the Glock. It's Glock 9mm double stack. I think you just can't sell them on eBay. 100% um, can't. You can't sell that we got flagged for trying to sell magazines over the capacity of 10. These are 45s. They're like 50 cents around now. Got 50 nice. of them, so that's that's not too bad right there. We'll, we'll save that. You may or may not have a couple 45s laying around. There's another one. That's not a 45 though. That looks like an old 9 millimeter. So it's something that has lights on it. Man, we get this all out of here. It will take forever to get back in. What is that? Well, instead of taking it out here, we might have to do this at the yeah. house. And we will, if you knew exactly what that was, tell us down below real quick what it is. Stuff in here. Oh, it's a pedestal seat. That's a nice seat. Hey, remember back in the day, right? You wanna try something real quick. I was strong enough to rip a telephone book in half. And we're gonna see, this was in my younger years, in my 20s, but in my 38, what am I, 38? Take the magnet off. Can I still rip one in half? Are you ready, guys? Oh, I don't know. It's not as glamorous as I used to do it. Okay, back in the day I could do it a lot faster, but I can still rip one in half. Pause the camera, I need to take a break. <laughs> All right, moving on. Found a buck knife. The thing is, the buck knife isn't in it, but the sheath is. And to be honest with you, the sheath is probably worth 20 bucks. That's a very nice sheath. There's nothing underneath of it, right? So we are finding just like very high-end stuff. We're just not finding the high-end stuff. We're finding the high-end boxes. We're finding, um, like this right here, if we had this knife, that's probably a $300 knife, easy. And then we did find a, a really cool vest, a fisherman's vest right here, and there it is, trail design, and it was still full of stuff. Like inside of here, it still had lures on lures. This stuff's easy on eBay to sell. That's super, super easy. All right, what do we got in here? Some Ryobi stuff. Look, like this. Like, where did this? There's a razor blade. Oh, jeez. Mixed with air hogs. Look at this walkie-talkie. That thing's nice. Rugged Cobra. Man, I'd like to find the other one of those. That thing's super nice. All right, moving on to this box. Oh, there's the other rugged guy. Oh, nice. Nice. 
Which means you can talk to one another. We were saying we needed walkie-talkies. We need walkie-talkies and boom, we got walkie-talkies. Keys, yeah, set of keys. Keep the keys, you never know. I doubt that's done anything. But, and then we have a, um, a puppet. Not a puppet. Nastiness. Hey, what is this? Here we go. I mean, is it empty? Is it not empty? Please don't be Instrument of some sort. Okay. Oh, it's somebody, a pool stick. Oh, pool stick. We played pool the other day and I beat Kayla and I've never played pool before. Somebody told me that if these are. <laughs> that tells pool, you how bad I am. <laughs> Uh, somebody told me if these are coarse, it's not a good pool stick. If they're fine threaded, it would be a better pool stick. This one's actually a coarse pool stick thread right there. But I mean, maybe a couple bucks on that thing. That's definitely a keeper though. Got some. All right, they're in here too. This is a very nice double uh, tennis bag. Like super, super nice. Double tennis bags usually go more than regular tennis bags. What do we got in here? I don't know what that is. Got some tennis balls. Okay, how good are your tennis rackets? Is if you have the tennis rackets in a case, in a case. If these are 003s, it's like 007. Yeah, these are good. Yep. Nice. That's a good tennis racket. That's, um, I don't know, probably 30, 40 bucks probably. We got two of them. That case though, a lot of times the, the, the double, Tennis racket cases go for a lot more money than just tennis rackets, so we're splitting all this stuff up. But right here, this is probably $100, if not more, in tennis racket gear. Yeah. We needed that. <laughs> we needed a little boost from this one, because it's, uh... You know you got a lot of trash when you're calling your dad in to help out, for sure. Oh, I know. This and is that's a, a nice This is a chair. gaming chair. Yup, X Rocker. That's a shame. She's destroyed. It's pretty scary looking. What we got going on here? Panther's jersey? Panther's jersey. Panther's Mickey? Panther's vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand the rhyme and reason in the, in the packing here. You know what I'm saying? Like two decent Panther's jerseys, right? I mean, not super decent, but decent for this Newton. unit. Are they new? And Will Williams. Williams is new? It's not new. Newton is. Newton's new? No, it's not is? new. Oh, I'm just Newton. saying that. Oh, I got it. I thought you said it was new. No. We got Newton. Panthers Mickey. It's nice. What is this thing? This leather. Ooh, More cowbell. cowbell. Watch it now. These cows come around. <laughs> That's, we're going to have a stampede here in a second. So I'm not understanding all this. Oh, I love axes. What type of hatchet is this? Be something cool. Oh, it is. I don't know what that says. It's got a marking though, and if a, um, I've noticed if like, a, you know, hatchet has a marking right here, pretty good. This is a sweet little boop, boop, boop. House tools that I'm saying. It's an old egg beater. Hmm. Risk your eggs with that. Cut your toast with this. This is a kitchen box. Risk your eggs with this. All right. So a nice little kitchen box here. It's actually full of probably some decent stuff. I mean, all, most of it's new in here. And it's a lot of good old tools, name brands, family. Uh, there's a rigid, oh, got a plane in here. Uh, you're not, you're not my friend. You're not a good plane. So that's not bad. This box right here is probably easy worth 100, 150 bucks just in tools. This is a nice little walking stuff. Check that thing out. Take a look at that. Wow. It's like burl wood up here. That thing is nice. So we'll go ahead and see that bad boy. These are front end parts to a car. With, dude, there's bullets everywhere in here. Like everywhere you look, there's bullets. I like when you dump them out like that. That's the correct way to do that. <laughs> Nine by 79? What is that? I don't understand why it's so heavy. Huh? What is the base made out of? Like Concrete? Concrete? Dude, it's on a huge swivel base. That is a monster television. Look at these uh, things back here. What do you see? You're not gonna believe us. What? We got a safe. A safe? Yeah. 
Like a big safe? No, it's small. And it's nailed. It's connected. To that? To that. Yep. Oh, jeez. And, and it's, it's locked. locked. Show the people. Yeah, show, show them what we're working with. It's, it's nailed to the thing. We called backup. Dad's here. Look at him. And he's wearing our shirt. And hat. And hat. And I've been asking for pants. We need pants. <laughs> need pants. All right. All right. And I want leather. Okay. He wants leather, leather. bearded thrift machine pants. Oh, All right, so. We have a mess. This is a mess. It ain't a mess. I like your speed. Well, you know, it's like, so we drag our feet too much. Drag our feet. We don't drag our feet at the bearded thrift machine. Oh, really? You sure? Should we make the turn? I don't know. We have to make that turn. Um, what a train ride. All right, it's helping bungee. A lot of, a lot of trash. Oh. All right, there's Kayla and Dad. They're gonna go dump this stuff off and leave me here all by my lonesome. All right, I did get the stack on safe out of the storage unit. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing at the house. I don't ever lie to you about, you know, if things are heavy or not, there's a hundred percent something in here and it almost sounds like jewelry. I can hear like, like jewelry moving around and it seems like it's pretty full. So this right here, we're going to go ahead, go home and, and break this thing open and see what's inside the safe. All right. So as you can tell, we've done a lot. Dad is helping out tremendously. What we're doing is getting the trash out of here, but before, and we're not saving any furniture. The furniture is just in really, really poor condition, but we're going to go through this one real quick. Where'd the safe go? The safe is in the car. I already, uh, yeah, they already know where the safe is. Uh, she wasn't here when I got was the safe. Gone. Yeah, you were gone. This is what was in the other thing. It's just a whole bunch of um, there's some Pokemon cards down there. Pokemon cards are just um, everywhere in this unit. I don't I don't quite understand what we're dealing with here. And and all of the I mean like none of the clothes are good to sell. No, there ain't no salvage in them. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, bust this stuff up. Slow sledgy. Dad's out there. We all know what a 30 pound sledgehammer. Yeah. yeah he's getting his workout in today. And uh, we're going to go ahead and throw this stuff away. And then we got, look at the stuff we got though. We got one chest. This one's pretty light. This one, this one, this one back here, super heavy. And this blue container right here, super, super heavy. Haven't looked in any of them. Let's get this stuff cleaned up. And we got room for this? Yeah. I took you all his advice. And I looked through this disgusting couch. This couch is not good. That's actually where the smell is coming from. The clothing and this furniture and the couch, they don't smell good. They smell like just hard to describe. It tickles the back of your throat. It smells like, you know, like musty car seats mixed with like brute deodorant. Weird scents. But I was moving some of it and this stuff popped out. That was in the couch? Uh, no, this uh. this was in the couch. The watch. Uh. This was in the CD player. Huh. Yeah, weird. There's a mouse. What's this thing? Little Joker guy. That's a very heavy car. Oh, that's the Joker's car. That is the Joker's car. What is this thing? Oh, this is the um, the external hard drive, the Maxter hmm. external hard drive that was in the the other thing. This one is the only box that has actually been closed. The rest of them have just been open, full of nothingness. Hmm. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Alright, so we have a pirate ship. That's cool. It's actually pretty cool. Very cool pirate ship right there. Eagle, another freedom bird. Ah, this one's all chipped up. Pretty cool though. Police car, Mustang. Look at this thing. Is that a sloth up there? Huh? How do you flip it over? Hmm, that doesn't make any sense. How does that work? I don't think that sloth's supposed to be up there. He's like glued on. 
Well, somebody probably glued them on there. That's... How's this not broken? That's oh. glass. And then another car down here. Oh, you... I just shattered it by accident. <laughs> you got a beach down there? Yeah. Well, uh, the hour, the sand up in the hourglass is uh gone. It was a Plymouth. This is what broke it. The tail end of this broke it. The days of our lives. The days of That's our lives. This is all right. We're going over the. Look at this. You think they painted that? That's pretty cool. That is very nice. If they painted that, they are a famous painter because that's impressive. Look at the owls. Oh, oh that's wow. that's ER Rambo. Then we have beach, beach, and more beach. Huh. Hey, what is this? This is hiding in the back. Yeah. What is that? It's got a yeah. face on it. Oh, wow. All right, that's pretty nice. That's cool. Right. That is a nice walking place. I can walk places with this. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so, ah, okay. It's about the furniture. All of the furniture is like this. It's basically totally destroyed where it's like ripping out from itself. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. What do we got in here? Any uh, weird stuff like before? This is Panama Jack. Really? Yeah. I, know. I knew he made furniture, but hey, is it a, we have a lucky number? Winner? No. We'll go through that. What's that little tiny drawer at the top? It like pulls out like this. Huh. It's, it's a table. Yeah, it's actually a nice piece of furniture. It's a, table. <laughs> it's a nice piece of furniture if it wasn't broken. If that makes any sense. Let me go grab a uh, broom to my mess. <laughs> The walk of shame. Whole bunch of Pokemon cards. I mean, these are not old, they're new. 2020, everything's from 2020 in here. I don't know anything about them. Like, I know, I know less than a little bit. I'm the guy that calls Pokemon, Pokemon, and think that that's right. So that's how much I don't know about Pokemon cards. Never played with them, I just, I just, I don't know. But the worst thing is, we gotta go home and think about it how we're gonna look through them all. I can't get them in there. I'm sure that that's the correct way. None of it's sealed. I don't know how these boxes work. We're just gonna keep moving on. All right, hey, check this out. Ah. I got some fishing gear. I don't know what smells so musty in here. Right? What? There's something. Oh, I found it. Insoles, Ew. old and in, that's what it smelled like. It smelled like an old foot. There's a double tap holster, man. They were they were carrying this on the on the 1980s draw. Mm. When you're a detective, you know detectives have the 1980s. Hmm. There's a small bomb in here. Is that a snake? Dude, these I sold these super quick. Their uh, rifle cleaning kit. This one is sadly been opened and is falling apart. But even like the uh, the case of these go for like five bucks, so they're pretty nice. I actually just sold one of those. The packing order is confusing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's a revolver. That'd be a 38, probably. I don't know. There's two more uh, gun things in there. Oh, rasp! That's not a rasp. That's a dang old swing line. Did you see my stapler? Who's got my stapler? Did my stapler? <laughs> All right, moving on. My movie? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Y'all know what I'm saying. Immediately somebody said, oh yeah, I know that movie. Or you said, he's not saying that right. He's, so. Oh, nice. All right, we got something in here. Pokemon. I don't. Ner oh, it's a nerve stimulator. Wait a second. There, we found some stuff in here. I don't know if I'm going to see this nerve stimulator. 10 junior, 50 bucks. Can't sell them on eBay. We immediately get uh, taken out for medical. Tell us how we know. This is an old cloth one. Wow. Dude, some American flags, depending where they are made, if, you can, if there's a... Okay, right there. Bulldog bunting. Moth proof. Tested that. We'll look that up, but uh, who knows? This is like stitched in and everything. That's a beautiful American flag. All right, here we go. Oh, whatever that was just burnt. 
Clemson. Clemson University. Clemson University. It was actually on there, like, not a sticker. USC. USC. We are Gamecock fans, but we don't hate Clemson. No. We're not like haters. No. No. Haters. What's inside here? Ready? Uh, oh. Okay. There's a football. Another Pokemon card. Dude, that smells like Old Bay seasoning. Yeah. Hey, did you smell it? No. It smells like um, steamed crabs in there. All right, this thing has got some weight to it. Oh, jeez. It's like rusted. Here. I'm not even gonna I look at it. I think it might have got wet. It might have got wet. <gasps> Shut there it your is. mouth! Holy crap! Dude, the Mead Quadzilla. The Mead LX Drive, this is it. This is what we were looking for. We're about ready to see the man on the moon here. That's it. Who knows if that's worth, that could be worth Who nothing. Who knows? Who knows, it could be worth nothing or it could be worth. But that just. That just made me happy. That just made me happy too. Yeah. And the, uh. the weight of it's like insane. This is awesome. Ooh. All right, here we go. I already like the way this looks. Okay, what is this? The North Face, so we're not gonna unravel it, but we have sold North Face uh, sleeping bags for like 50, 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. All depends on what the, the temperature is that can withstand. Here we go. What is that? Oh, those are lenses. They're all the lenses. Oh. Dude, these are all meat Thank lenses. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so we got the lenses there, so that's good. Some of these lenses that I look up, it all depends on what it is. They can go for $100 a piece, $20 a piece. This thing's also heavy. Um, what is that? Oh, it's more mead stuff. So you got yeah. controllers. You have like... It's like falling apart. Yeah. Like it's, it seems like it's old. Look at the controller though. Like we got the controller. So, so we'll have to cool. figure out, we'll be... We'll be YouTube and how this thing works, and we're gonna go to the beach and look at us some, some stars. stars. Um, this is. Ooh, is that heavy? No. No. Oh. It's there's something in it. It's um, yeah. It's... What is this? Some sort of. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what we got in there? Bubble wrap. Uh, this might be. Lenses. Looks like filters to camera lens. Oh, is this a camera bag? M M M Shyamalan camera bag. I don't understand what it's doing. It's like <laughs> it's like a transformer. Do you see this? <laughs> it's transforming into crazy stuff. Is there a camera in here? Or just that, there's nothing in there. This thing. This says forty-two thousand. Is there something in there? Is there? There's something in there. Oh, there's I think something. that's a lens. It's too light to be a lens. Could be a filter or, or it's like an adapter to a camera. Made in Japan. What's the uh it's Canon. So we'll be looking a lot. Oh the extension tube. It's an extension tube FE12. EF12. Huh. More Canon stuff. This is off-camera shoe. So this is when you're Cinderella and you need a shoe. That's not it, that's a charger. Oh, okay. Oh, that could come in handy. There's another charger, right? We're only we're putting it back in the, the same, so more Canon stuff. Some of this could be worth some decent money, honestly. No, uh, what is They took, this is the funny thing. We have seen this unit. Nobody's taking care of anything. All this stuff is taken care of, which makes me think, like, they have put it in baggies, they have, look, this is a Canon Ultrasonic, oh, just by the look of this, who knows how much this is worth, but probably pretty good. One of our better finds, I would say. So, it's, and it comes with the Canon yeah, we'll cases. Yeah, put it back in that. Um, so more lenses in here. This this is gonna be a lens, and then it looks like that there's a, there's another lens in here. Like he has them wrapped in the original, like they're the original cases, I mean, Another Canon. I've never seen the ones with a huge, what is that thing going on there? That's Canon ES. That's probably a flash. Yep, flash. Is that the entire, and this is, this is a nice camera uh, bag. 
we already went through that. So many compartments, really. There's, oh, there's a lure. You're hanging on to this, buddy. We caught you. <laughs> there's tons of lures. We got, this is, got, oh, what was that? that? Smell mildew again. It's in this guy. So we don't have the camera, but we got the lenses to it. That would be part of the camera, but there's nothing in it. And this is just another bag. We're gonna clean all this stuff up, get this thing swept out so we can get our hundred dollars back, and then we're gonna go home, get that safe open. Is this worth this? No, no. Where'd you find that at? In your box of pots and pans. Really? I'm thinking, is there something I don't know? Dude, this is, Dad just basically gave us a thumb. This is the buck, <gasps> this is the buck knife that we had. That we had we're, the case for. We got the case for it. We are at the house, and uh, so far we have two full truckloads full of junk going to the uh, dump. Dad already did one with Kayla, and then tomorrow, 7 o'clock in the morning, I don't know why Dad gets up so early, but 7 o'clock in the morning we're going to take the other one. This is the stuff we have left. This is everything that we have left that we think is sellable. Now, you say, ah, you know, there wasn't probably a whole bunch of stuff in there. Real thing, I'm gonna go over three items that paid for the unit. One, the knife that dad gave me, the uh, the buck knife that he found in a pot as he was loading it on his truck. That was worth, worth about 250 bucks. And the hatchet that I think was in the first video that I talked about that was nice. This is a plum, which makes this special. If you ever see the ones with the Boy Scouts of America stamp on the top, this one last sold for $125. Free shipping, so an easy $100 bill there. And after we, figure out how this works and everything. The Me telescope looks like it goes for about $900. So we think that this will be a local sale because it was $900 without this. So we have the stand. This is the counterweight, by the way. I remember that telescopes need counterweights oh. to counterbalance it. So we have basically everything here, but that's not why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. We're here because we want to know what's inside this safe. Now, I'm not going to shake it up too much because I don't know what's inside of here but there's stuff in here, 100%. So what we're gonna do is, it's locked, we haven't been in it. Um, I've actually never broken into a safe before. Really? Yeah, have you? No. No, oh, you said really like I was a cop. Like, I mean, you were a cop. I thought maybe, I don't know. Why are people, cops breaking into safes? People brought safes and was like, hey, break into this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's, um. Sounds like rocks. It sounds like rocks. I'm gonna guess that there's rocks. <laughs> Cause that's how this unit's been. <laughs> Just straight up rocks. I want to tell you what happened. So we're sitting here messing around with this, trying to break it, and Kayla literally just flips it over and it pops open. So we're gonna go ahead, we have not looked in it yet. Now is it gonna like, okay, so it's open now. Yeah, we beat the... What is that thing? We got stuff in it, like we said. There's stuff in here. We'll open that here in a second. Um, stimulators. They're not the kind you want to touch without your gloves on. There's a, there's a ring. See it? All right, that's about it in here. Uh, there's a knife. Uh, did get a ring, though. Is this a... Uh, it's marked with something. I can't see exactly. Oh, it says it right there. 925. That's sterling silver. Oh, nice. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. All right, this is it. Oh, wow. Is that gold? How it's bent, it looks like gold. 10 carat. That's a big honking gold ring right there. Nice. That thing is, weighs a ton. That's good. Uh, these are like cufflinks, most likely. And a wheat penny, wait a second. What's the year of the wheat penny where you're super rich if it's steel? It's not 1943, is it? Because that's a steel, is it 1944 that's a wheat penny that you're basically a millionaire? So it's a steel penny. So there's a there's a year out there that we learned that if you find that, you're basically, I mean, you're, you're done, you retire. So we'll look it up. I don't think it's 1943, I thought it was like 42. But I don't know, $600 unit, we already are in the profit. 
Before this, everything you see here is pure profit. What we're gonna do, if you didn't know, we have, we have another channel called The Flip Squad, and that's where we go through basically a whole bunch of this stuff, and that's where we sell it, and that's where we really show our numbers on how much of this stuff is actually worth and what do we sell it for. Not bad for 600 bucks. We were a little worried, way more trash than we thought, and it was actually a bigger unit than I thought. So we do appreciate everybody watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next.